Hey guys, and welcome back. My name's NG Paradox, and we're here in Greece where we finally had some kids. Maybe not the perfect situation, but at least we have some people who can possibly continue our dynasty. Now, my son's wife does have gout, but it does not stop her from having kids, apparently. But she is incapable, so I don't know if that means they can't have kids when they're incapable. I've not really seen that. Normally, if someone's incapable, it's something really bad. Not something like gout. So I'm thinking she could probably still get pregnant. Oh! <laughs> Speak of the devil, my actual wife is pregnant. A glorious day for the family. Very good. If she can give me a son, the line, I think, is very much secure. Um, our little Greek revolters in Venice are continuing to fight, doing a great job right now. Is that enough? And there they go. And there we go. Go, except to the peace offer of Duke Theopanus the Hammer. And I think he got all three of those places. Did he just get all three? No, he got both of them. So I thought maybe he got that as well. But no, he actually did get... Yeah, he got both of these. What a great job. Now, he did also get the Duke title, which is kind of disappointing. And he will not... Because he's a Duke, isn't it? Small difference in rank, yeah. Why? Why? Ah, that is a that is a big shame. Do we have any girls we could? I don't have any daughters or anything. They're not old enough, are they? Damn, that'd been perfect. Ha! Huh. Send a bit of gold, maybe make him like us. I don't think it'll be enough though. Which I'm now just worried though. He'll like bend the knee to someone else. I want him to bend to me. He's right next to the Byzantine Empire. They're gonna want to take him. I feel like. Let's have a quick let's have a quick look again. Maybe it's changed in one day. No, he still hates me. He still hates me. Power though is pretty good. Okay, let's just send a gift. Let's see. 40 Okay, I should have sent I should have sent it when we had the chance. Let's do it anyway. Okay, come on, please. Yes! There you go. I want the hammer as my vassal. Definitely. Yes, please accept. I accept to swear fealty. Perfect! Well, there we go. The passion between me and my wife was still there. Only slumber and beneath... Oh, no. This is the one where we... No! Why does this keep popping up? 9%. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, I keep having... I have a heart attack when we get that event pop up. Just a quick look. I probably should change this for players. Let's get that up. Okay. We've got a bit of consumption down here in maybe our, you know, homelands. That's good. Look at that. That's good. We're now a little bit closer to the de jure lands of Greece. We just need the Byzantine Empire lands and Epirus. Obviously, we have Crete down there as well, yeah, which are part of the de jure lands. He's in jail. Oh, vassalization. No, he's in seclusion. I, wait, why do I always think that means they're in jail? I don't know why that always pops in my head. But he would not accept vassalization. Yeah, the power thing is quite helpful, but it's not enough. Can we find a claimant? No. We're not going to find a claimant. So we're going to have to wait until there's a bit more claimants around for Crete. Maybe try and tell in the future. Again, like I said before, I have to be my son, probably, because he can obviously change the laws, obviously, to medium realm authority. I, I have no great love for Duke Adrenokos of Epirus. Why are these people always speaking out against me when I have done so much for them? And we've done everything for them. The Holy Roman Empire Rebellion. For the throne of the Holy Roman Empire. Really, who is this? Who thinks they're so important? Friedrich von Hohlstaufen. Now, his father was the emperor before, so I can see why he thinks he should be the emperor then. Yeah, that's probably made him a bit big-headed. Um, Shatijos of Naxos is trying to usurp my title. Ugh. That's not good. Try to bribe. No, we, we like gold. We'll leave it. We're not a man just to assassinate a man for no re uh, for such a little reason where he can't do anything. Has formed an alliance with Jerusalem. Well, Jerusalem's not looking great. He's in jail by the Byzantine Empire. On Trebizond. Yeah, so he tried to help Trebizond. Ah, Jerusalem. What happened? You used to control Jerusalem, then you lost Jerusalem. And now you're just on an island in a jail. Duh. 
I managed to blame the monks at a nearby monastery for one of my more sensuous songs of courtly love. Confess and pray. Lie to my confessor. I'm an honest man, so I'm going to confess and pray. That's the type of man that we are. We don't lie about such a thing. A new court chaplain. Let's go for this guy. Now, I think we still have some people. Oh, we still have people that are Catholics. We need to convert. In fact, go for this one first because that guy is actually a Catholic. Yeah, that guy's an orthodox. He might be trying to change it himself, but this guy's actually a Catholic. Let's try and change him. Attempt religious conversion. Um, maybe used, maybe not used. Threat of imprisonment may not be used. Yeah. Religious debate if learning is 8 plus. The threat of imprisonment. Okay. Now I say I don't want to push it too much. We'll try and see. A daughter was born to me. Maria. Well, there we go. So we had, we did have another daughter. Maria. My son. I don't think she's going to give you any more kids, sadly. It looks like her gout. Maybe he's not turned on by gout. Maybe, maybe that's kind of a turn off for him. Or, or maybe even, maybe he loves feet, and so her feet having gout has just turned him off completely. This kid has usurped these titles. What's with that? Look at that. One eye. Kumania. Did he manage to defeat the Mongols? What happened to the Mongols? Huh. They managed to slow them down, possibly? Um, what is this, though? We propose that Prince, the Prince of Hungary and this girl get married. But she's from that, she, her grandfather was the Duke of those lands. Hmm. She has no claims herself, I guess. So, I guess I'm not completely against the idea of her being married off, I, I guess. No, you know what? She's a young girl. We need these girls just in case we have courtiers that need to get married. A barracks has been built. Uh, this guy's come to my court. He's a jeweler. got some good intrigue there. Okay, let's let time go by then. We just need to get to the time when we can attack Epirus. That's what we need. 23. Four more years. Can my guy live for four more years? I don't know. Pierre has died. I don't know if we can live four more years. Ooh, we could claim for this girl. But she holds no land underneath me. It's not de jure either. So, yeah. That is probably not going to go under us. Yeah. So that won't go underneath us. I don't want de jure. Please let me attack for de jure. But yeah, we can't right now. We'll leave it. Yeah, my protostrator has come to your suggestion. He thinks that that man, the eunuch, would make an excellent commander. We'll put him in there. I mean, he basically just serves me. So we can put him in there. He doesn't wait for claimants for those two. Nothing new against the Latin Empire, but my wife is pregnant. What is going on here? She's now become a drunk, maybe because she doesn't like being with an old man. But I thought we'd fallen a bit more in love. And I still have my lover, though. But yeah. We got another baby coming. What a glorious day for the family. The family line is surely secure as long as we can get these girls married off matrilineally. Excellent. Okay, not too bad. I was very worried about the family line. But looks like, ooh, what's happened up here? What is it? Revolt against the rule of the Latin Empire. So it looks like he's gone against them. It wasn't until several weeks after the banquet I heard about it and wonder why I was not invited. Aren't Count Alexis and I friends? Maybe he forgot. Not anymore. We need to talk. Ha well, I'm a proud man, so I feel like I would take this quite seriously. I'm honest and brave. Yeah, we need to talk. Are we really friends? Are we really friends, Alexos, the drunkard? I don't know. A young artist is working a divine icon of depicting Christ Pontecrator. Um, no, it costs us a bit of money. We don't want to do that for now. Nothing so pushes me to push myself to pay that money. Summon children to court. Wait, 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 wait. Are my children not in my court? Huh. My bastard daughter's not. Okay, well, I guess we can summon them to court. And some of your children are subjects of foreign court. Bring them home to Greece. Yeah. Thank you. 
Yeah, very nice. We can get our daughter back to where she belongs. She's a legitimate daughter of the despot of Greece. I'm liking that they're fighting against the Latin... Anyone fighting the Latin Empire we like. <laughs> Basically. And the despot of Trebizond... I think lost. Yeah, the Byzantine Empire has won. So we can see there, Trebizond has been split into two. The Greek... And the Greek. <laughs> okay. To a stillborn daughter. Would you accept vassalization? No. Distant realm. Yeah, maybe we're a bit too far away for that one to work out. That's a shame. But I, I can live with that. We can live with that. Oh! Did he just, did he just accept vassalization of him? I think he did. But I guess he has land, so I guess that's what he wanted. Um... Prince Nicholas expresses his wish to have a seat on the council. My own son. Well, well, well. Your wife's still not pregnant again, but you want to see it on the council. Now, that could upset some people. And your father is not going to do what you told him, yeah. Um, we don't need you. Doesn't matter if it upsets my son. He doesn't care. I'm the despot. I need to do what's best for the realm. What a lovely crown. I don't really look to the crown much. Are we... We had another daughter, and she is left-handed and sickly. Iostina, I'm going to call her. Okay. So that's uh, not how I wanted things to go. Um, attempt Save my little girl. Save them. I didn't want three daughters, but, you know, as long as we have people in the family still left. Um, she still appears slightly weaker than other children her age. I swear she is much more energetic than she was a couple of weeks ago. She might not be out of the woods just yet, but the worst has passed. Okay, so she might survive. Ah, uh, we can't have her daughter die. We have so few members of the family. I also remember, they don't get their kind of natural genetic traits until they get older. They normally start appearing as they get older in the CK2 Plus mod. Sometimes it's easier to lie than hurt people with the truth. So we've now lost our honesty. A man claimed to be a lord who disappeared years ago has found his way to my castle. Okay. He sings of the fair queen of Elfland, and some say his songs are prophetic. Why should I believe him? Just an old drunk. He's finally found his way home. Well, I, I'm just, I'm not going to call him an old drunk. But should we believe him? Huh. I think we say he's finally found his way home again, because we're going to be just about this, yeah. Like, well, okay. We can't just call him a liar, you know, he's, he's, you know, we've got to prove that he's lying first. Let's just welcome him home. These are dark days. My wife has been beset by oozing, lesions, and a high fever. I've just been informed she's been afflicted with smallpox. Call my physician. Okay, so she's now got smallpox. That's, that's not good. <laughs> that's not good. Stay away from me, please, wife. My vast request that a lower rank vassal should go into him rather than me. Um, possibly. That guy is pretty powerful himself. And he is Serbian. Uh, impress him with vague... Yeah, we're just going to impress him with... Because we've got high diplomas. We're going to impress him with vague promises. Then my son, he can ask. My son can get a favor, maybe. We'll treat you like that. There's no point giving him more power. The despot of Epirus just died. That means I can attack Epirus. <sighs> what a joyous occasion. And his son is only 13 years old. Declare war. We can't get that. We can go for that one. So this guy. The hammer. Oh, I can do it for him, actually. Yeah. As long as you get a bit of the land that he wanted, I, I think that could work out. Let's go. How many men? 1,000 men. Okay, time for war. It'll bring the realm together. It'll give us a nice borders. We hate having that little piece of land right in the center of our kingdom. Let's claim it. That land is my... I don't have to raise all our men either. Let's raise the men involved. Okay, you have like 300 men. You have 1,000. 3,000. There we go. These guys are going to get involved. Let's lower the speed. They'll be the ones to fight. Okay, wait for their morale to go up. And then we'll go on the attack straight away. Oh, that little girl was mur murdered. 
on the orders of the Emperor of the Latin Empire. He's obviously not a nice man, that Latin Emperor. I can't believe we're still alive. We outlived the King of Epirus. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, my wife is better. Wow, good job there, physician. Who is our physician again? What's his name? Braslav. He's done a pretty good job. He made my daughter a little bit better. He managed to save my wife, probably. She's still a bit sickly, but, you know, he didn't make it... She seems to be getting a bit better, it said. Your vassals, the Shah of Devotion, have some gold. Thank you for the gold again. Things are going very much our way. Actually, are you Greek? No, of course, of course he's French. Of course he's French. Damn him. Okay, everyone. Charge into the center. Just go on down. Crush them like the ants they are. 18th of December, 11th, 15th. Okay, you need the best men then. Fadil. Let's actually go on to our people. Need some more commanders. Okay, the hammer, of course. He's obviously pretty good. And that guy. Those are actually our best people. The rest of them are just like, okay. These guys are actually pretty good commanders. Fadil and this guy. Those three together, I think, is a pretty good collection of commanders. We've got some pretty good commanders under the, the seatbelt of Greece. And there we go. Epirus will be no more. Only Greece shall remain. 70%. As it should be. Oh, they need a few more, and they could, they'd have ten times the men. We could still assault, we'd probably still win, but we might lose a few men. Though these are my vassals, men. Let's, let's, uh, let's wait for them to go down a bit more. Let's see. Let's wait for the morale of the siege to go down a bit more. Maybe we should assault now. Let's click in five, four, three, two, one. Click. And there we go. A hundred percent. I'm sorry, Kings of Epirus. You're a young boy now. You should fall. Goodbye. And there he goes. His family had been taken out of the race of the Game of Thrones. Though obviously they could return at some point with their claims. Hopefully for now we're okay. We've just got to hope that for now. Um, but until then we can live peacefully. And we have nice borders now, which is always good. We can see the name of Greece going across our whole kingdom. As a devoted hunter, I filled my castle with many trophies from the wild beasts I've hunted and killed myself. Still, there's a place above my fireplace waiting for a special trophy. The head of a white heart. The best hunter must help me fill the empty place. Please, I need the best hunter alive to help me. If it is gold you want, I'll give you gold. I will find the white heart someday. So, now he'll help me, yeah. He's ambitious, you know, and he's proud. He's going to say, I need the best one to help me. Come on. I could never have done it without... Boss Boreos' hunting skills. After several days looking for trails and drop-ins, we finally found a clear track. The white heart seemed to wait for my arrow and merely shivered when it pierced its heart. The head looks great above the fireplace. Well, there. We look at that. He's still doing great things even at his old age. The Mongols. The many Khans of the Steppe have been rallied under the same banner. The leader that managed to unite them all is Temujin of the Mongol Empire. I mean, did, weren't you guys coming ages ago? I mean, didn't this pop up ages ago? 120... He's gaining more men! And have set their minds not only on ruling the steps, but the spread throughout the world. Something has to be done to stop them. Yeah, that is a ridiculous amount of men. Where is he? Okay, yeah, they're still just over here. They're not attacking anyone right now, but obviously we know they will be. Oh, they control... The... Actually, wait, they're all the way over here. They actually control all the way to Persia. Who knows where they'll strike? That is a ridiculous amount of men. We need... We need allies. Maybe me having lots of daughters is good. We could gain some allies of people to try and defend ourselves against such a vast horde. We'll have to wait, though. All right, next time we'll do, we'll see what happens. I love... Oh, this looks so much nicer. We have to take these lands, though, from the Byzantine Empire. We really do. I really just want those lands that are rightfully ours. Hopefully we can just find some of a claim, but no one's dying. So we're not going to find claims for them until those people actually die off. Now there is 
a young boy there, but he's French. Anyone of the Latin Empire would possibly have a claim. Can be inherited by a successor. We could try and look for his daughters. Or maybe sisters. No. No, no, no. It doesn't look like any of them will probably get it. Um, any kind of guys in the family who had kids? Who might have claims? No. Unlikely. Okay. We'll have to look at some point in the future. Someday we can get those lands, but for now, we'll probably have to look to other ways to be getting lands. These lands down here, we'll probably have to make do without getting for now. But they will fall to us one day. We'll have to see. Maybe I should just go for the Byzantine Empire itself. Maybe, maybe I should. We'll have to wait. I'll see you guys next time.